What is up guys, Dane again. Today we're talking about how to set up the Facebook pixel on your Shopify store. Now, since you're already watching here, you've probably seen a couple of my videos, you know that Facebook ads is a really cheap and great way to send traffic to your website. But kind of like if you have a brick and mortar store and you have a bunch of looky-loos just coming in through the door, you do realize that sometimes those looky-loos are not gonna buy. The question is how can we get their data and be able to retarget them later? Now, usually when it comes to a brick and mortar store, you're kind of SOL, if that makes sense. They come in, they look at a couple products, they put it down, they walk out the door. With an online store, that isn't necessarily the problem anymore. That's where the Facebook Pixel comes in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly install the Facebook Pixel on a Shopify store. Unlike other websites or even a sales funnel where it does take a little bit of complicated trickery to make sure the Facebook pixel is installed on every right page, Shopify makes it really, really easy to install the Facebook pixel. As you probably saw in one of my other videos where I installed the Facebook pixel on a Squarespace website, you don't actually have to really worry so much about putting in all the code into the header section. There is a very small part at the end and I'll get to that uh, where it definitely helps to make sure you do install it that way, but Shopify really is making it super simple simple for you to start running Facebook ads. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you have to do is you do have to create a new Facebook pixel in your business manager. So let's go ahead and jump right on over there. Now if you already have a Facebook pixel created, just go ahead and click set up. But for us, we're going to create a whole new pixel. As you can tell, once that is done, I select Shopify since that's where we're going to be at. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to set this all up. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click out of this and we're actually just going to highlight the pixel ID number and then we're going to head over to the back end of Shopify. Now to head over to the place in Shopify where we need to get to, we simply need to switch over to preferences and drop down to where the Facebook pixel ID is located. By the way, if you're looking to do Google Analytics, this is also where you would go as well. Now, once we simply put the pixel ID into this little uh, area right here, we're actually done. That is so easy. But let me show you that last thing I was talking about, putting the pixel code at checkout. Now, if there's one thing that is really important when it comes to doing retargeting ads is making sure that when a customer comes to your store and adds something to their cart and then leave is that we can go ahead and we can bring them on back. In another video of mine, I'm gonna be talking about how to set up a retargeting ad for this specific event. Hence why we're gonna really do some hardcore work and make sure we get these people coming back in. So in the checkout area, this is where you will need all the Facebook pixel and also a special event snippet. So let's jump back to, face, uh, to Facebook Business Manager and I'll show you where to get all that stuff. Simply go ahead and click the code and then click next. And when you click next, you're gonna have all these fun little event snippets. Go ahead and select the one that is the most appropriate. Usually it's abandon car or initiate checkout. Now heading back over to the Shopify uh, checkout section, we're gonna go ahead and just place the code right here in the top header section. Now, once that's all done, go ahead and head to the URL of your Shopify store. Also, double check on this. Make sure you have Google Chrome open and you have the Facebook Pixel Helper installed. This will actually show you if you have a correct installation. As you can see right here, my website already has this all installed. And notice all these little things that it's checking off, such as view content, or here on the checkout page where it says initiate checkout. That definitely does help out. So guys, I hope this video was super simple and easy to follow when it comes to setting up the Facebook Pixel for your Shopify store. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and give me a subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos like this and I definitely wanna make sure I'm helping whoever is out there. I will see you guys next time.